Hello there. Now you may have been seeing videos around the internet of all of these neat glowy effects in VTube Studio lately. This is from the newest update. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is actually going to be two parts since we need to set up something else first before we can set up the glowy effects sort of thing. So first thing we're going to want to do is set up our scene lighting. So what we're going to need to do is go into the settings and then it's in the camera settings, which is the second tab here. Obviously it starts at the top, but if we scroll down, you'll find this display lighting menu. Now there's a few options that we have here. So first things off, you'll notice this display here. Off obviously turns off the scene lighting. Then we have a one and a two and perhaps more. And these are your monitors. Number one is my main monitor and then number two is my second monitor. And this will basically take the lighting from that specific monitor and apply it to the model. So for example, my model display one, and you can actually see sort of a pixelated view of what that window is currently displaying. So this is my VTube Studio window here. Or alternatively, if you're playing a game, for example, and it might be in windowed mode for whatever reason, obviously you don't want to catch the lighting from your desktop. So you can press window and then it will pop up with everything that you have open. And let's say we click VTube Studio and that's only going to capture the lighting from our VTube Studio window. That's pretty neat if you just want to capture it from a specific game, for example. And this is reactive lighting, so it will react to lighting changes within your game. So with the color config, generally you don't want to change too much, but with brightness, that's pretty self-explanatory. Basically changes oh, how bright your model is. We're going to leave that at the default. Overlay is basically how much overlay is being applied to the model as well. We're going to leave that at the default as well. And smoothing, we're going to leave that at default. And including items basically includes items within the screen overlay. So for example, if I put my breads on and I turn that off, you see they're not being applied to the lighting anymore. So generally I'll just leave that on. Right, so now we've set up our scene lighting here, but how do we get those neat glowing effects going? There is a new setting here. We actually need to go over to our parameter settings which is the third window here. And you'll notice that there is a new menu called Customize Model. I'm gonna go ahead and click that one. Here we are. So there's three options here. The one that we want is Customize Scene Lighting for Art Meshes. And obviously I've seen the most use for this with the eyes, but it can be used for other parts as well. For example, I have used them on my little wing stars before. So here we are in the menu here, and it's got a bunch of different stuff on here. Now, basically what each of this does is this is showing you what is being affected by the scene overlay. So everything is at one right now because everything is being affected by the overlay itself. But obviously if I toggle something off, let's actually make sure it's visible. So let's say if I change this, you'll notice my ear up here. It's removing the scene lighting from it. So we're going to go ahead and try and set up our eyes here. Now we could scroll through our big old long art mesh lists but obviously there's yeah there's quite a bit here right and a lot of models are into the several hundreds of art meshes at this rate <laughs> so what we can do is we're going to go ahead and zoom in first and the reason is we can actually select directly on the model so you'll notice things are lighting up in red and on the top left there you can actually see what the name of the part is pretty neat huh and obviously if you're having trouble selecting because your model is moving you can press this freeze button and then I'm frozen. <laughs> there we are. So now we can select our eye parts. And we're just going to toggle these off. And you'll notice my eyes are now glowing. And there we have it. There's how to change your scene lighting settings in VTube Studio. Obviously, it doesn't have to just be the eyes. It can be different things as well. So do have a play around with it. I've seen a lot of neat effects going with all sorts of different parts using this. And so do just have fun with it, really. <laughs> and with that, I wish you the best of luck with your live 2D project. And I hope you have a good day. And bye bye.